My name is Larry Biagini. I am the Chief Technology Evangelist for Zscaler. The benefit of having spent 35 years in this industry is I've seen an enormous amount of change. You know, it started out with the internet was a way to connect people. The workforce is actually changing dramatic, dramatically. In my opinion, in five years, the workforce will be more remote. Whether you're in Africa, whether you're in the United States, London, or whatever, they expect eventually they're going to be able to connect themselves to the rest of the world. That opens up new markets, it opens up new talent, it opens up new thoughts, it opens up new competition. So that is actually what's driving some of this change that we have to do. IT used to be a control organization where you would control devices and networks and users and applications. Most of that control has gone away. IT needs to find a way to enable their users to get better at what they do to serve customer needs. And if you serve customer needs, companies grow and companies get rewarded for growth. Think about uh, if you're a sales guy, you're sitting in somebody's office and somebody needs something. You're gonna win that if you can configure price and quote and walk out of that office saying, Here, here's what it's gonna cost you to do that. That's what the cloud gives us. And that innovation is something that's not gonna stop. There's always the question about, okay, what about my legacy applications, the actual stuff that runs my business? It's great to say anybody anywhere should be able to run it. How do I move this stuff to the cloud? Uh, and the answer is, it's really, really difficult. Over time, as those applications get uh, need new functionality or you, you're at a natural point where you're gonna make a decision to keep it internal or go to the cloud, that's when you cloudize it and rewrite it for the cloud and maybe take advantage of infrastructure as a service uh, versus just exposing your applications to your users. Inevitably, the cloud discussion leads to security. Um, there is a natural fear of conducting business over something that you don't own and that you don't control and that you may have limited visibility into. What Zscaler does, which I personally think that uh, is the state of the industry going forward, is they rely less on where the user is and much more on who the user is and what they're trying to do. We started eight years ago. So we have a good base to develop on. We have a good base that exists today. And I think it'll keep us as a market leader as long as we continue to innovate. Because in this cloud world, if you don't continuously innovate, you die. The velocity with which companies are talking about the internet of things and the way to make customers productive and businesses profitable is connecting machines. I think there is a play there because it's a natural fit. It sort of sits Zscaler in the middle of that traffic to provide whatever productivity or, or security is needed on that type of uh, communication. It's different, but I think we're logically positioned to sit in the middle of that as well.